Gartner came from Schweidnitz, Lower Chalcia, now Switnica, Poland. He served with the Afrika Corps. He was captured by Allied troops in Tunis in 1943 and was brought to America as a prisoner of war. He escaped from his prison camp in Deming, New Mexico, at the war's end because he was afraid of being turned over to the Soviets. He created a new identity as Dennis Wiles, marrying and leading the relatively quiet life. According to his book, an exception was taking part of the first ski rescue team to the city of San Francisco in January 1952, immediately after which Life magazine took his and the group's picture. Meanwhile, his FBI wanted posters or in most post offices. Gardner was never caught by the authorities, but came forward 40 years later in 1985, surrendering to Brian Gumbel on the Today Show. He effectively became the last World War II German prisoner of war in America. Gardner was not an illegal immigrant, since he had been brought to the United States against his will. He had escaped from prison because he was due to be sent back to his hometown in Chalcia, one of the German provinces that became part of Poland due to border changes promulgated under terms of the Potsdam Agreement and from which nearly all Germans thereafter were expelled by the Poles acting according to the terms of the Potsdam Agreement. Because of this, he was not charged with any offenses. But until late 2009, he was not a United States citizen. He had only a residence permit. In November 2009 he was finally naturalized as a citizen of the U.S. in South Denver after it had been delayed several months. The government claims that his paperwork had been lost. Gardner lived in Boulder, Colorado until his death. He published a book about his experiences called Hitler's Last Soldier in America, available in both German and English. For 40 years Gardner was listed as one of the FBI's most wanted persons.